Hello everybody, it's Noah Farrow, your favorite bipolar actor, and today we're getting into Fluffy. He's talking about six levels of fatness. Let's go. Happy Thursday. Happy Throwback Thursday to all of you watching. If you're watching this on Friday, happy Flashback Friday. Uh, if you're watching this on Saturday, happy say it was a long time ago, Saturday. If you're watching this on Sunday, then you, you, you need to watch videos Volkswagen. more often because you're late. Anyway, this right now is from my comedy special called I'm Not Fat, I'm Fluffy from the year 2009, okay? Oh, uh, 2009. 2009, a long time ago. Uh, my, the hair was on my head, not on my face. It, it, yeah, it speaks for itself. Enjoy. And if for some reason the video bothers you, that is unfortunate. Okay, there, I said it. Bye. A lot has changed, El Paso. A lot has changed. One thing's for sure, I'm still the oh, fluffy yeah, he's guy. all young. <laughs> <laughs> that young face. And I say fluffy because that is the politically correct term. For those of you that don't remember, I used to say that there were five levels of fatness. Reason why I say used to say is because now there are six. Uh huh. I met the new one in Las Cruces. <laughs> uh, the original five levels are big, healthy, husky, fluffy, and damn. People ask, what could be bigger than damn? The new level's called, oh, hell no. <laughs> What's the difference? You're still willing to work with level five. <laughs> Example. Okay, uh, I don't usually do this about people's faces because I hate it when people do this. Uh, that man's face <laughs> is different. He's got a totally different face. His whole face is different. It's 2009. I understand. That was 15 years ago. I'm over here calculating in my head. Um, fluffy fans. Old Fluffy, new Fluffy. Because new Fluffy, I don't know. I know a little bit of old Fluffy. Uh, but uh, should I get into the new Fluffy um, comedy? If you're on an elevator and you're with your friend and this really big guy gets on and you and your friend look at each other and you're like, Damn. But you still let the big guy ride your elevator. That's the difference. Level six, you see walking towards your elevator. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> no! 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 That's the difference. The guy that I met was six foot eight, 614 pounds. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, hell no! <laughs> he was offended at my show. Everything <coughs> that I said, but because of the fact that now at the shows, I started selling t-shirts, and apparently, I didn't have his size. <laughs> Keep in mind, I go all the way up to 5X on the t-shirts. And he was like, you don't have my size. I was like, dude, I didn't know they made you. <laughs> I have up to 5X. I don't have X. The picture of a dinosaur on the back of the tag, you know? No. I wonder what his process is, his writing process, his comedy process, because he's kind of a clean comic, but at the same time has a little bit of an edge. Like, uh, 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 Gary Owen. He doesn't write things down, so he's more of a <clears throat> let it flow. He gets on stage and just talks, and sometimes he talks to the audience. Sometimes he has stuff, but, you know, it's just him being up there. I wonder what his structure is, because he's different than most comedians I listen to. Um, just everything he talked about is different than what I usually listen to. <clears throat> and by the way, you guys, I want to let you know now, here in this theater and all over the world, wherever you, anybody's watching this special... If you ever see me in public, either at a restaurant or at a hotel or anywhere, and you want to stop me and say hello or take a picture or anything, please, I welcome it, and it's an honor if you were to do that. I do not mind at all. Stop me anytime you want. I'm the same person. The same guy. Thank you. Seriously, the same guy you see now is the same guy you'd see outside. 
I don't change, you know, you're not going to walk up and go, Gabriel, can I talk to you? I'm not going to be like, be gone from me. <laughs> Gabriel is my <laughs> stage name. I'm not even Mexican, I'm Scandinavian. No, trust me, I'm the same pendejo, you'll see outside. <laughs> I don't <laughs> mind. I love it, you guys. Trust me. You guys make it possible for me to have an incredible life and take care of my family. So I'm all for it. Not a problem. Trust me. Right now, it's so crazy because I'm still adjusting to people walking up to me. I I'm checking into the hotel, and they already knew me, which was crazy. I go like, oh, hi, I'm checking in. Here's your key, sir. But, um, um, we know it's you, sir. <laughs> 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 Like back in the day, it had such a baby face, such a baby face, and now his face is not baby at all. <laughs> it's a totally different guy. He looked all innocent now. He just looks like a normal guy. I wonder if he ever thinks about acting, because he's really one of those comics that is just into stand up. There's a lot of those, and they're running the show because they don't have to be beholden to Hollywood genius. Kevin Hart can't do what he wants to do. He can't be as open and say what he wants to say. Why? Because the machine's behind him. So he's got to be pretty sanitary. Gabriel can say what the hell he wants to. <laughs> um, Give me some more, Gabriel. I'd love to see some more. Also, I have some um, other reactions. If you'd like to go down the rabbit hole with me, like and subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed yourself, take care.